Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back to another video. Hope you are doing fine. Yeah, I hope everything is okay. And yes, so today in this video, we are going to be looking at these three beautiful names. We are going to be looking at Al Fatah, Al Alim, and Al Qabith. Yes, so you know, of course, we always first deal with our first name. So our first name is Al Fatah. Do you know what Al Fatah means? Al Fatah means the one who decides the matter. In the linguistic part of you, Al Fatah means the judge, the opener, the one who decides the matter of people and passes them with judgment, with his judgment, in truth. Okay? When he's the judge, he is just in whatever he decides, he's truthful. Okay? So, what does Al Fatah mean in terms of the normal life, how you live your life? Him being the judge, him being the opener, he opens doors to those who seek for them, I think. What do you think? So, if you have something you know about this beautiful name, please don't forget to leave it under the comment section. So, Al Fatah means the one who opens the doors with his decision. These doors could be for sustenance, could be for success, could be for whatever that you might need you as a servant. Okay? So, Allah has opened doors to many people, to the learners to understand what they are learning, to the scientists, to the engineers, to the doctors. These people do not just do these things. Allah makes the decision that you understand understand this and you understand it and you do it the way how it's supposed to be done these surgeries that do happen it is allah it is not the doctor however much you'll be like oh thank you doctor for saving our for saving his life for saving her life but in brackets it is god okay yeah so it is his decision he makes the final decision this comes to the way how we live our lives. Al Fatah is among my beautiful names. Like, you know, we all have, like, someone can ask you, what is your best surah, or which one is your best surah? You will always mention something, okay? So, when it, when it comes to this, uh, about Allah's beautiful name, my, my most loved beautiful name is this name, Al Fatah, because it, it, it is broad. He's the opener. He's the judge. He's the one who decides. If he says, let it be, it be. Okay? Yeah, so in, when we come to, when we come to the normal life, he is the opener of everything. So never be sad. Never be worried. If you're trying to achieve something and it is not moving, never lose hope. Maybe it is moving, but you're just not seeing it. Maybe it is not moving here on the dunya, but on Akhira it is moving. Okay, you may see someone on dunya and you judge them. But when they, when they weigh heavily in the heavens. So this is how amazing Allah is before you just continue supplicating never lose hope even if you want to achieve something on this dunya just hold on to this beautiful name he is the opener of success he's the opener of all doors he's the opener of all gates in this world so he is al fatah okay even just me are talking about this name i feel the i don't know how to really really um describe my feeling but i just know that whatever happens in my life he is the main decision or for example i'm a content creator sometimes you create something and it does not really move but this has never made me feel low or i've never stopped uploading because i know one day he's going to open my doors even if you're working, whatever business that you may be doing, the moment you see that it's not moving, just don't lose hope. Continue supplicating this name. And another beautiful thing about this beautiful name is when Allah will help you or Allah will remove all the distress, uh, the, 
envy the grief from your heart so how many times to recite this name just recite this name sometimes it is good before a salat duha and sometimes it's good to recite this name all the time whenever you remember it just recite this beautiful name supplicate cry for allah let him know your problems you want something to be opened you want your doors to be opened just call upon him but if you don't see results don't give up and last timing is the best so our next name is called al alim when you're supplicating i'll always remind you this you say ya alim ya fata ya alim so what does ya alim mean ya Al ya alim means the all-knowing Allah's knowledge can never be compared. Yeah, he knows every single thing. Actually, this name is so broad that I cannot even explain it because if I start explaining it, it will be like 10 hours explaining this this beautiful name because him being all the all-knowing, it comes from how he created this universe, how he taught us how he taught Adam whatever we know to mention he is the all-knowing you may think you know but you don't know he knows best um, when it comes to him all-knowing and when we come to our normal lives like sometimes you fail to make a decision and this thing really really does matter just supplicate this beautiful name. He is the all-knowing. Ya Alim. And when you recite it, even if during the time of confusion, you will feel like you have that light, that nur. Like, I don't know. Like you don't feel sad. You don't feel... You don't have that grief on your heart. You, you just have a normal life and you feel happy however much you could be having problems. Okay, yeah, so yeah, Ali, I don't have much to say about it actually, but all what I can say, it is self explanatory. It is Allah is the all knowing, He knows everything, so His knowledge can never be compared to anything. Okay, yeah, because He's the one who created you and created me. Just see how my palm looks like, just see. All this is His knowledge. Just look at me, my eyes, my nose, my mouth, my dental, we all have different dental formulas. So he is the all-knowing, he knows what is best for you and he knows what is best for me. Okay, just in simple terms, I would say maybe when to recite this name all the time. More so maybe when you are confused, when you want to make a decision. Yeah, so if you have more knowledge about this beautiful name, I'll request you to just leave the comment under the comment section so that maybe I too am able to know about this beautiful name. Yeah, don't forget, I told you I'll give you what I know according to my, my thinking and the way of understanding about Allah's beautiful name so that's why I always request you to leave the comment because I still want to learn okay I'm in that process of learning and I love learning and I love being corrected yeah so let's go to our third name we are going to be looking at al qabif al qabif uh, it means the withholder he's the one who withholds he takes hold to everything how can I explain this for you to really understand this beautiful name for instance for you to benefit from this beautiful name is that you have to withhold yourself from the evil and in this way Allah will purify your soul your mind the way how you talk you should withhold from the bad talks you should withhold from whispering you should withhold from all the bad things uh if if i am to talk about the current situation we are in ramadan we are withholding from most of the things yeah so in this sense if you want to withhold more 
just hold on to this beautiful name al qadif al qadif yeah i think it is al qadif al qadif yeah <laughs> oh just don't mind me anyway yeah but yeah i think this is the best way how i can really explain this name to withhold what you that to withhold what is bad yeah so and you don't do it yeah i think that is all that i have about these beautiful names today thank you for being a good watcher thank you for being a good viewer actually i'm so grateful and don't forget to like if you watch this video don't forget to give, to give it a like and share with your friends yeah anyway for educational purposes nothing much yeah for educational purposes i'll see you tomorrow stay safe bye bye